this question um, is asking during the conversion of proinsulin to insulin, bonds between which of the following amino acid residues keep the two chains of the insulin molecule together? The correct answer for this is cysteine. So it is the cysteine residues which actually hold the two chains together. So the A and the B chains, which is in the mature insulin molecule, are held together by disulfide bridges. And these disulfide bridges are anchored um, onto these chains by cysteine residues. So this is a 12-year-old boy. He's brought to the emergency department because of vomiting and rapid breathing. Over the past two weeks, he's been drinking lots of fluids and urinating excessively. He's lost weight. He is thin, April bright, drowsy. Respirations are deep and rapid. There's a fruity odor on his breath. The laboratory studies show that he's pretty acidotic with a pH of 7. The glucose is high and his BUN creatinine indicate likely pre-renal failure. So which of the following is most likely to be increased in this patient's blood? So clearly, I think it's not um, that hard to make the diagnosis. He has DKA. All these signs and symptoms are indicative of that. And in fact, this fruity odor indicates that he probably has a lot of ketone bodies. In fact, that's likely acetone that's being produced. And his respirations are deep and rapid to try to blow off this excess acid, um, and which is a clear compensation for his metabolic high anion gap metabolic acidosis. And the result, uh, resulting uh, sort of a reason for all of this is the accumulation of beta-hydroxybutyrate, which is answer C 